Whew. Oh boy. Like what the fuck just happened? Hey, I'm on. There it is. Number 16 dead. There's Manus again. Manus? Malice? I don't know. Oh, hey, there I am. I haven't been transported back yet. Even though I was nowhere close to that area. Look at my skin. Look at, just look at the hand. Fingernails are all black. Skin is pale as white. And I'm floating. And there goes the sword. So these shadow enemies, oh god, I'm not looking too hot. These shadow enemies are like the enemies for Ico. I don't remember saying a spell. <sighs> My eyes are like now that of the Colossi. Ow. And now I'm bleeding like them too. Hey Shadow Bros, you wanna you wanna help me out here? Wanna help me out? Shadow Bros? Shadow Bros, hi! Oh. Ow. Ow. And now I'm bleeding like them too when I get when the Colossus gets stabbed. Ow. Ah. Sorry, this sword isn't the sword that kills.
I love how he's like ignoring them for like the most part. It's like not. I mean, he's going to pull the sword out, maybe. Yeah, no, he didn't give a shit about any of them. He's like, as long as she lives, I guess. Yeah. And now I'm a shadow man. Have arrived the new. Yeah, bar all my body. Yay, yay, we're going back to daddy or mommy or whatever. Dorman has both male and a female voice. I think this is what's great about this game is they do not explain anything. They don't explain why Dorman is bad. Turn around. Come on. Slow as fuck. Dun 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 So, I was always curious, like, what did it mean by resisting the light? This is what I meant.
So I have to resist this light for like at least a minute in order to get some concept art. Should be able to grab onto the Agro! I'm trying to hit triangle too. Oh, come on. I'm pretty sure I've already done for a minute, but I'm still going to keep going. So I don't know if it's a whole, you have to resist, like, you know, like, jumping away like this. Or, like, just don't get into the light. Wow, that's super far, but they let me go. Yeah, let's open up photo mode right now. Let's see if they'll let me get past this spot. Probably not. Alright, I have for sure been doing this longer than a minute. Yeah, I can also hold on to this for. Granted, I don't think it's for a minute, but it could still be for quite a while. For sure, I resisted that light for a long time.
that very unrealistic bridge that defies all nature. Actually, I don't think it does, but it's like, it's ridiculous how that bridge looks, I'd say. But it's cool looking too. Excuse me. Come on, Dorman, keep your promise, you asshole. There it is. She's alive. She's alive. But she's alone. Was it worth it? You know, you could, have, you could have been alive, Wander, with your horse. You know, doing whatever it was you were doing. According to the movie, you were like some farm boy, slave boy, whatever, for the village. Which, fucking hell, that synopsis for the movie just would have ruined this game, I feel like, for everyone. But was it worth it, Wander? You dead. She's alive and alone in this beautiful land. Can't do much but eat lizard tails and fruits. Her with her glowing dress, and she doesn't even have any type of footwear. Come to think of it, did Wanda have footwear? I think he did. I think he had, like, some sandals on. I might just split this up into 14 parts. Or 14. I might split this up into a, a, a 17th part, because, boy, howdy, I've been going for two hours. This is the longest recording session of Shadow of the Colossus I've had. Considering I think all the recording sessions beforehand were, like, around an hour. Or like an hour thirty, maybe. <sighs> Agro, Agro's alive with a limp. Well, it's off to the glue factory for you. You got a limp, so. No, I'm kidding. Ah. Yes, your horse lives, but you die. So is it even more worth it, Wander? Now she has to go on the journey and try to kill all six, the 16 Colossi that came back because Dorman got killed or... <laughs> Kidding. No, this apparently leads to Ico, which is weird, because Ico was the first game to come out in this series. Actually, I wouldn't even call it a series. It was Ico, then Shadow of the Colossus, and then finally The Last Guardian that came out, like what, 2017? Part of our studio, you touched our lives today. You encouraged us with your words, kindness, and gave us strength to forever be grateful. Yeah, but now we get to go through all. There's where all the Colossi lie. So, before you go face the 16th Colossi, you could come back here and just. You go back to those areas and fight the Colossi again. Which is very cool. But I think you also go back to, like, the stamina and health that you had beforehand. So... Without the commitment from fans, a remake of this magical will not be possible. Yeah. I, I, I say this is a fantastic game. I would like to play Ico, but they... Ico was just a game they didn't want to bring to the PS4 for whatever strange reason. Watch. Watch, like... Obviously, I'm recording this way in advance, but watch. They're gonna announce like, oh, hey, you want Ico on the PS4? Well, here's Ico on the PS4. Well, the thing is, this studio, I think, no longer exists. The Bull Point Studio or whatever it's called. I don't think it no longer exists anymore. I think everyone else moved on, obviously, because they took forever uh, to make The Last Guardian. But, now, I don't think I'm ever going to play The Last Guardian. It looks like an okay game, but from it looks not as good as this game. I, I, I don't mean by uh, in terms of looks. I mean, like, gameplay-wise, I probably would enjoy this one a lot more than Last Guardian. But not to say that The Last Guardian probably isn't that bad of a game. It's just probably not my cup of tea for, like, all this stuff. But, 
But I enjoyed this game a lot. I really did enjoy this game. This game was fun. Uh, all the Colossi... I mean, there's Obviously, I raged at a couple of them. I was like, motherfucker. Like, this one sucked to get to. I loved number 15. Number 15 was a good fight. Same with 16, obviously, because the last one was really good. Uh, actually, these last four... All these last four were pretty good. Uh, obviously, Barba. Number six was fantastic. Uh, you have to give it to the first one and the third. I, I don't think... Like, there are some stinkers among them. Like, they're like, oh, this one could have been done better. But, like, some... I honestly... I did like the, the number 12, the ocean one. Uh, I liked him. Although, it took forever to realize what the fuck to do with him. So, fuck him for that. But still... I, I honestly don't think there was a bad Colossus in this. And like I said, as I've been watching the two best friends play this game again, they were like, yeah, they were like, none of these cloud sites are bad, but there were terrible ones. There's these ones and this one such that, like, could have been done better. No man shall ever trespass upon this place again. So yes, so like I mentioned before, this game was going to be one of those, you know, video games that are like, let's have a movie for it. But they definitely were going to change a lot of things. Like they said, they were actually going to explain, like, who Wander was, what the hell was up with Mono. Dive more into uh, Lord Emon. Like, they were going to explore that. But from what they had and from what they read, uh, I'm sure if you guys want, I honestly don't know it off the top of my head. But if you want to, like, learn more about that, you can either watch the two best, the uh, Super Best Friends playthrough of this. Because Wooly talks about it. Or look it up. I'm sure you can look it up. Hey, there's the baby that you play at. Hey, there's Baby Wander with the horns and everything. Which is like, oh, this kind of looks like the kid that you play as in Ico. Because the thing in Ico is you have to protect your, like, uh, let's say you're five years old. Or not five. So you're like six or ten or whatever. And you're a, kid, you're a boy with horns. And you're, like, supposed to protect a lady. Which turns out to be, you know... That's what people draw the connection to. It's like, wait a minute. Is Child of Colossus a prequel to Ico? Not a sequel? So it's like, even though they're not connected, like, the studio never really said, no, they're not connected. Like, they're, it, that's not the case. They do this shit. And it sucks. And I think it's actually fine. That's like, you know, there's the mystery of it all. Is right there. Is, is it true? Is that how it's supposed to be? Is it supposed to be this way or something? But I really did like it. Honestly, Ico is the only game that I haven't really seen much of anything from. I think I saw, like, a trailer from it and maybe a little bit of, a, of the playthrough with it, but... Um, not a playthrough, but, like, a little bit of gameplay, but not a lot of it to, like, really get a opinion on it. So, yeah. Uh, we are now going up to, like, the secret garden that is, like, on top of the temple. Which I believe that's where the poison fruit is to get for a trophy. So basically, if you can come up here, which you need to get to have max, max stamina and everything before you can come up here. You need, like I said, you need max stamina. You need max... Actually, that's all you need. You don't need max health. But you need max stamina so you can get up there. There's a side on the temple where you can climb up. But yeah, they're like, no, you can't get up here until unless you have like all, almost all of your max stamina or something. I believe this is where the poison fruit is. There might be normal fruit up here too. But then you can also run across the bridge as well. So, yeah. And now... Agro. Oh my god, I freaking... How can I forget the horse's name? I... Okay. And look, there's deer. I know I complained about the controls of Agro, especially during the 10th Colossi fight, or was it... No, it was number 10. Or was it... Yeah, it was number 10. Or was it 11? Fuck me. I... No, it was 10. 
I, you know, I honestly don't remember, but I know I complained during that fight with him. But the aggro control, I, I'm still laughing at, uh, during the phalanx fight, the number, yeah, number 13, number 13 fight where I, where the, when the Colossus came out of the sand and just shot us all the way up. I was like, oh my god. Like, you just watch aggro flip, you watch wander flip and everything. I, I'm still, I find it stupid that they didn't let me, like, actually grab onto the Colossus that way. I feel like that would have been cool. If they did. I feel like, I mean, maybe they did, but I was like, oh, I was, I was flubbing around so much that it wouldn't let me do it, but. So, am I glad that I finally have played this game? Yes, I'm 100% glad that I finally played this game. Am I regretful that I haven't played it sooner? Kind of. Um, because, I mean, this is the best version of the game. Like, I heard that the PS3 had a lot of problems, especially with the... Like, when you try to do time trials, like... Your, Wander would... Is all finicky when you're trying to stand on the Colossus and such. He's all, he's all finicky. He's moving all over the place, even if you're not touching the controller. Uh, but yeah, I've heard like this is the best version of the game, so I'm happy with it. So I'm glad I finally got to play this game. Now, question is, what's next? I I have a few ideas of what's next. Um, I'm also like I said, I'm recording this well in advance, so who knows? There could be. They could release a story update for Union Cross at, before this is up. They probably won't. I feel like they'll probably do it the week of this coming out. Because I believe if everything goes according to plan, this should be coming out on a Wednesday or Thursday. So I have a feeling they'll update the story of Union Cross on that Friday that comes out. But but yeah, I do have some plans to to bring up for um uh for the next lp and of course bioshock is still going on probably yeah bioshock should still be going on it's a uh we're i did i did a long recording session of bioshock yesterday that i have to still cut up which i'll probably do once i'm done recording this but yeah holy crap this took uh i'm actually curious to know what my final time is for this because i did i did fuck around a bit at the end there to like get on his way to enter time attack mode press r2 in front of the colossus statue in the shrine Bearer of the Curse. Wait. New Game Plus and Mirrored World modes are now available. Yep, so there's a New Game Plus. I, again, I want to see where this takes me type thing. Not takes me, but like I want to see where my time and everything was. Okay, a little bit under over five hours, which is... I'm totally fine with that. But anyway, guys. So, yeah. I'm pretty sure I This is the secret garden. Throw 300 harpoons. There's Agra. There's all the swords. There's guards. Come on. Yep, there he is. Good old Menace. God, look at that one. Look at that one. That is a fantastic shot. But yeah, I'm, I'm glad I played this game finally. Like I said, it took a while, but... um, But I'm glad, so... Wait, pray at all... There's 25 shrines? I thought there was only 16. Oh, boy. But anyway, guys, that's going to do it for Shadow of the Colossus, guys. I hope you enjoyed this series as much as I did. Uh, if you guys did, please give that like button a click. Comment down below what you guys like about the video, didn't like about the videos, and let me know. What were your guys' feelings about playing Shadow of the Colossus the first time? You all know mine because you were here with me, so yeah. And as always, guys, hit the subscribe button so don't miss a beat. And subscribe to my main channel, too. That's in the description below. As well as follow me on Twitter. Both my main Twitter, the RBG Kingdom Kid Twitter, are in there, too. Thank you all so much for watching once again. And I will see you all in the next Let's Play. Bye.